can see you look super better, Phoebes. Oh, guys. Say bye to Phoebes. Go, Phoebes. Hi, you little monkey. Good to you. Like, Mommy, can I stay off school? Like, no. Hey, we're going to see you off on the hunting field soon, aren't we, Alan? <sighs> right, so that's Alan off today. Gutted, absolutely gutted. But do you know what? Um, things kind of find the right homes, happen for a reason. Lola, come on. Um, and he's gone to a Lola. Lovely little home um, with a friend of his owner. So, you know what, it's going to be all right. Um, and he's, he's been great for Marshall. You know, Marshall's had a lot of fun on him. I mean, he won that Soli Hall Riding Club Mini Championships. Well, let's go on here. Right, I'm in Matt's car today. Mind you, bear with me. Going, there we go, that's all right, isn't it? Going for MOT. Um, so, to raise everything up because I'm a little short ass. Um, there we go. Oh, goodness. Right, now I've got to remember how to drive the automatic. So, what are we doing? We're going over. Where's my drink? Jesus. Must be my car. Bear with me a second. Right, I'm back. Got my squash. Um, Got Beaver's passport all sorted. Let's go. So, yes, where are we? So, Alan's just gone. Um, oh, Phoebe's going to be so lost without him. I've just put her out and she's kind of like having a little wonder. And she's covered in mud. Oh, we decoded her last night because um, hopefully we won't have to get clipped. <coughs> I can't see it happening today anyway. Um, I should have probably just put her little lightweight on, but there we go, didn't. So now, yes, so Alan's off to his, his new home, where he's going to be absolutely spoiled, have a nice child on lead rain where he can have some fun. And then, heading over to the other yard now, Bieber's going at 10, uh, what time is it, not quite sure. Um, and yeah, he flew through his vetting yesterday, brilliant. Um, so off he goes, he's going to have a lovely time, mainly hacking um, through the winter and then build up to maybe a little bit more. So that's great. Um, have a couple of viewings booked in for the end of this week and the weekend. Um, we have our Halloween show at Surly Hall Riding Club on Saturday. Do you know what, this week is so, it's just so busy, it's flying through. Um, if we want some lessons, which I think we're going to try and do tomorrow, because yeah, we haven't had a chance all week. It's just manic, absolutely manic. Um, and I know I want to get some videos out for you guys as well of kind of the day to day running of the yard. So I'm going to have to get the girls to sort those out over here because obviously I'm not over here when they start. So I'm sure they'll, they'll love doing that. Um, and then, yeah, all go, go, go at the moment. But I'm not complaining nice to be busy we've got another new one coming in for retraining and to sell we've got people coming to have a look round about other possibilities of retraining and rehab uh yeah going what going okay I'm, I'm i'm feeling a lot better than i was so it's all good all positive um i love being busy i do I get bored if i don't so anyhow i'm going about the gate so i'll speak to you all in a bit why have i put the indicator on what the no! There we go. My little beaver is off. Hey, sweetie. Got something for you. Mmm. Yum, yum. Little going away present. Little calming cookie. Oh, doesn't it look sweet? Girls have given him a nice brush. You look well, little man. So chuffed. So happy you found a new home. Yes. Little beaver cuddle. Oh, a beaver cuddle. <laughs> a beaver cuddle. Come here. 
I want the sweets. I want the sweets. Oi! Get ya! I'm gonna get ya! Mm -hmm. Ooh! You know what? I really miss them when they go. I do. I just want to know you're in the right homes. And then hopefully we get lots of updates on what a good boy you are and how much fun you're having. Oh, God. I can feel myself getting emotional already. Anyway, don't want to. Um, because at least I know I've done right by him. So he's going off with a few days of SFM. The owner's ordered some. Um, but until she actually gets hers, he can have some of ours. Anyway, I'm going to go for a minute. Bye, Beef. So that is oh. here's the heavy gates. Um, that's Beaver on his way off to his new little home. Um, oh my god. He's having a little nap. Can't even get the gates done properly now. Um, yeah. So you know what we spend. We spend so much time with these horses, but it's really nice when you see them kind of going off, and knowing that hopefully. Do you know what we've got it right for them and the people that are having them um and it is hard because you know what when they're here they're treated like our own we all love them me the girls and matt most of the time <laughs> um but they are they're just oh you know we we find out what they like and what they don't like and their quirks and their personalities and we try and match so much to the right homes for that and <sighs> Then to let them go, it's so hard, but it's so nice to know. And you know what? It's lovely that we have a fab bunch of people who we rehome to that keep in touch with us and let us know how the horses are going on. And that means the world to me because, you know, we get to this little box. I'm sure it'll soon be filled. Um, it, means, it means the world to us. I mean, you know, Ed. Not sure what you're doing yet, do we? Whether you're going to go back and be a racehorse or whether you're actually going to find a new home. Hmm? Again, even like, you know, horses like him, we don't really know what he's doing yet. We're just seeing. Um, and then. Oh, hello, little Beryl. Hopefully, you're going to be one of the next ones. Yeah. Um. We haven't produced her off the track. We're selling her for an owner, but she's still here with us now, and it'll still mean the same to us when we actually rehome her. I mean, Jimmy, hello. Yeah, hi. He's only a four-year-old. Who you'd have seen his videos. He came for a bit more finish off the breaking process. Again, we've had you know we spend a lot of time with them. Oh, Lola, <laughs> Lola, Lola. <laughs> Okay, that's cheered me up. Um, oh, I don't know where I'm going. It's just one of those days. It's quite a hard one today. Um, I need to ride Jam in a minute, wherever he is. I haven't found him yet. Uh, it must be around in the other barn. <laughs> they move around all the time. Can't find them. Lola, stop arguing with the others. Can't find the horse. <laughs> Um, because yeah, he's got hopefully a viewing. Um, we're on a roll, we're on a roll, guys. Need to find them their home. I want them all, all in their homes as quickly as possible, but only when they're ready. Who have we got around here? He is. Hey, Jam. I'm going to give you a ride. We're back. We have two horses with you back on board. <laughs> yeah, now is not a good time. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh. I've already had it. I've already had it. Oh. 
Oh. There we are on jam. Gonna have a little spin on him. Um, I haven't ridden him in a while actually. Oh. <laughs> Pigeon! Oh my god. So yeah, bless. I mean, I know the girls love the horses and oh god it does get to me when I see them. So emotional about them as well. Get on move on you. Um, but you know what, that also means a lot to me to know they really do care. You know, we all do and this is it. I think people sometimes see us as, as dealers and yeah, you know what, we find these horses home. So in a way I guess we are like a, a bit of a, a dealer but but we, we really care and that's not saying that others don't but you know I mean we do really care we get we get inside these horses we let them get inside us and I think that's the reason why I'm not blowing our own trumpet here or maybe I'm a little bit is why we're so good at what we do um you know we are fussy and I know sometimes a lot of people don't like that and take it a bit badly when I kind of say sorry but not happening I don't think you're the right person and then I get well mm, how do you know mm, you can be go it's like oh yeah nope I like to think I have a pretty good judge of character um so anyway I'm going in the school I'm a big chestnut I've got to get off now actually to do the gate and then get back on I was like, oh, it's a long long way Ooh. I think we make a dressage pony out of you he's uh he's worked beautifully in there he does take the what's it a little bit with our mirrors um when he catches his reflection sometimes um but you know what i mean jam's only really done a bit of schooling with us um haven't you we haven't done absolutely loads with him um but the, the stage is out i'm really chuffed he i mean carries himself beautifully he really does and he's so light and for a big horse because i mean he is he is a big big horse my yeah, there we go. I mean, he's massive. I mean, my, my back's really buggered at the moment and just trying to get off him. He went to take a step. I was like, no! And bless him, he stopped. And he just stood there while I shimmied off him. And, uh, yeah, not very elegant these days. But um, I'm not sure I ever was, to be honest, but there we go. But, yeah, he's great. He's such a gentleman. I mean, as we walked down, you know, he had a spook at the pigeons. But he never does anything. He's just nice and honest and yeah, oh I really just come on, somebody's gotta love him. Let's hope. Hope we can find him that right home. Jam Jam Naughty Jam So I take Jam down to ride him. And he did a stumble. Um and to be fair, he's worked lovely in the school. Come back, realise you've got no hanging shoe on. So, quick phone call to the farrier. It's coming out tomorrow morning. Fingers crossed. Yep. Not that you look bothered. Tubs. <laughs> he looks settled. Yeah. Indeed. Good boy. Hello. Just had a message off Beaver's new owner, and he's settled in brilliantly. Um, Alan has already been for a ride with his new jockey, so all good today. And it is today as much about the ponies as the horse. Because this little madam has now got to come in for a brush. I knew I should have put a rug on you this morning. And then Matt is going to clip it all off, Phoebes. What do you reckon, sweetie? Look at the state of her. Oh, my God. Yes, yeah, you've only got a white head. Come here, Tara. Oh. So yeah, I'm not sure who has the worst job actually. Matt getting covered in white hairs or me getting covered in dirt while we try and do it. Let me go put your head collar on. Um, come on then. Hey Phoebes. I think she's slightly lost without your little buddy. Even though he was a pain to you, wasn't he? Mm. Bless her. So you could get a marshal's going to ride you later as well. So yeah, we thought if we get a clip now, Marshall can ride later. Um, the sun's out, so she'll have sun on her back. It won't be too cold. Hopefully she won't buck him off. Is that right, little trouble? You'd never do that, would you? Mm. Right, 
time to get muddy. Beautiful. Hey. Hey, Phoebe. Bless her. Gonna have some bathing to do for the weekend. Um, at least she'll dry easier now and it's better for her. So yeah. So stables are done. My mum's helped me today up here. She's brilliant, always does. Um, I'm gonna pop round to the house, get Marshall a drink and a snack, and then school run. Then back and he can ride his pony. Hopefully she's not too fresh. She's obviously oh. trashed her stable. Look, she's had a right drop. You trashed all your bedding, young lady. Hmm? This is the way I like it. In the camera. There we go. Hi. Right, whip her rug off then. Oh, I dare. It's not here. Oh, yeah, you probably left all the fields. You probably can't catch him. Ah. Naked pony. Twice we fit the same. Because we keep that. Your bum bouncing about on her back. <laughs> like, ooh, ow, ooh. That feels so soft when I used to do that. She looks good, doesn't she? Look at all the dust Yeah, I know. Well, we'll bath her on Friday, ready for Saturday. No, we don't have to bath this bit. Well, we do. Oh. We do, Phoebes, because it's still very dirty. She says, no, we do. Right, get your tap, come on. She looks good, doesn't she? You have she to say thank you to Daddy when he gets back, yeah? You look fat, babe. She doesn't look fat, she I looks good. I, look. I always know I look fat, because I love being fat. I'm, I'm so glad you said that, because I love being fat. She's perfectly well-rounded. What do you mean she's perfect? She's just got perfect curves. She's not fat at all. She doesn't at all. She's a good, good size for a pony. <clears throat> Will you get the tack? <clears throat> this is a good size for downfall. Mm. No, you look smart. Speedy clip. She's got a speedy clip on. Ready to win all the jumping. There you go. Just got to remember where you're going. Yeah. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, well done. Oh, so last little bit of the day. Oh. Um, it's gone and picked the car up, it's gone through its MOT, so that's all good news. Um, it's been a long day today, really, really long day, I'm shattered. Absolutely, oh, absolutely shattered. Dog's having another run again, and I've just seen a buzzard pick up either a rabbit or a squirrel and just fly across with it. Oh, I mean, I know it's nature, but oh, there's enough dead bodies on the ground that it could have picked up. So I feel really sorry for that. Um, I hate seeing those things. Anyway, yeah, thank you ever so much for watching the videos. I hope you've enjoyed them. And as I've said before, we will try and do some things that you guys want to see a little bit more of. Um, so yeah, but the good news is Alan has settled into his home, um, Beaver has settled into his home and yeah, Phoebe was amazing tonight with her little super duper go faster clip. Um, so really good, really good day. Tiring and a long one but a really good day and uh, yeah, we'll do it all again tomorrow. So thank you for your support everybody and I will see you soon.